On February 24th, 2021, virtual audiences attending the Aerospace Warfare Symposium got an unexpected surprise, a glimpse of a state-of-the-art speed racer aircraft. In a one-minute trailer, Lockheed Martin teased the world with the sighting of a small jet-powered drone aircraft that dropped down from a military C-12 Huron, unfolded a pair of swept wings from its hexagonal fuselage, and ventured into the unknown. The Speed Racer is the first prototype entirely produced by a digital design system technology that goes by the name of Star Drive. Produced by Lockheed Skunk Works Advanced Bureau, the pioneering aircraft is aimed for military use. But speculation about its ultimate purpose quickly ran rampant. Star Drive System On February 11, 2021, Lockheed Martin received approval from the U.S. government to take on a new trademark for Star Drive, a new digital engineering process. The program is being produced by Skunk Works, a pseudonym for Lockheed Advanced Development Programs. They're responsible for developing the U-2 Dragon Lady and the SR-71 Blackbird, two of the most iconic reconnaissance aircraft of the Cold War era. Star Drive aims to speed up the aircraft production process by coordinating all stages of pre-production and post-production into a single digital program. Its innovative technology allows engineers to accelerate the conceptual stage and design processes with computer intelligence and robotic manufacturing. At the height of World War II, aircraft companies were able to produce airplanes in a matter of months to send them straight into the front lines. However, as technology advanced and the need to create more powerful aircraft increased, the process became much slower. For the past 20 years, aircraft production has turned extremely slow, with fighters like the F-35 Joint Strike and the F-22 Raptor taking more than a decade to develop. Star Drive intends to change that. Arms Race With China and Russia producing advanced fighters like the Sukhoi Su-57 and the Chengdu J-20 at faster rates than the U.S. Air Force, it's a matter of time before the United States becomes immersed in a new aircraft arms race. Star Drive's objective is to unify engineering with production, supply chain, and finance from the start of a new design. To keep up with its competitors, the government is closely working with Lockheed to accelerate the aircraft manufacturing process. In an interview with Steve Trumbull for Aviation Week, Rene Passman, Skunk Works Director of Integrated Systems, said, quote, That partnership, not just from an engineering perspective, but from all the functions involved, is going to be key. We are working in partnership between us and the government on how to make significant progress there. Passman then explained that Star Drive produces a prototype of a, quote, full-size hole with determinate assembly for composite airframe skins. In determinate assembly, holes are drilled so precisely that they can be used to align components without a costly jig or tool involved. The U.S. government is hopeful that once Star Drive is fully functional, it will accelerate the production of more complicated aircraft designs like jet fighters. Speed Racer. The Speed Racer is the first aircraft produced within the Star Drive system. It was first seen by the public during Lockheed's presentation. The small aircraft is appreciated briefly in their promotional trailer. It shows some orange details over a yellowish painting cover with a hexagonal fuselage, folding swept wings, a ventral tail, and two aft dorsal tails. The Speed Racer is an unmanned aircraft system, or UAS, conceived to be launched by larger aircraft. In the footage shown by Lockheed, it is launched from what appears to be a Beech 1900, also known as a C-12 Huron aircraft. These aircraft are mainly used for reconnaissance and intelligence missions. Equipped with high-range antennas and top-tier technology, the aircraft attract and intercept wireless enemy signals with their sensors. Aviation experts believe that the Speed Racer will be used as a combat drone or a cruise missile. The Pentagon is also interested in the drone aircraft for operational tactics. The Speed Racer could be combined with the C-12 Huron to perform risky operations when exposed to fire from surface-to-air missile systems. Away from the operational range of enemy air defenses, the Speed Racer could be equipped with a sensor package for reconnaissance operations. With the Huron out of harm's way, the Speed Racer could be sent to get the job done and transmit the desired data. The Speed Racer could also be used as a cruise missile for more aggressive missions. Armed with an explosive warhead, a bigger aircraft could launch it to hit a specific target without additional aircraft support. And if a Huron could carry two Speed Racers, it would affect how airstrikes are carried out today.
while one speed racer could be used as a spy aircraft to identify targets, the other could launch its artillery effectively. Time will only tell how the speed racer evolves, along with the Stardrive program.